If you've ever wanted to build your own dungeon, a construct of dark and unforgiving stone, that opportunity has finally arisen within Conan Exiles. The Lost Dungeon Building set is a new addition with the Age of War Chapter 1 Bazaar update, but is it worth your hard-earned money? We'll be finding out together. Firstly, full disclaimer, this set was given to me by Funcom. Regardless of that, as with my previous ones, this review will be earnest and honest, and the end result and recommendation, or lack thereof, will be the same as it would have been had I spent my own money on this set. So without further ado, let's get started. At the time of writing, the Lost Dungeon set is in the bazaar now, and by the time the video goes out it will have around 3 days remaining on the bazaar. It comes in at 840 crown coins for the set, which is exactly $7 worth of coins. This set includes 7 pieces consolidated into 2 subcategories, and those pieces are foundations, walls and ceilings, and doors, window frames, door frames and ceiling frames. Looking at the items in game, you'll immediately notice these aren't your regular building pieces. All of the items in this pack are foundation sized, including the windows and the door frames, which sets this bundle aside from most others. In terms of item health, they all line up with tier 3, with the foundations having 100k health and everything else having 70k, aside from the iron doors which have 50k, again all in line with tier 3. You don't get any advantage to these foundation size blocks, if anything you actually get a slight disadvantage, so why would you want to use them? Well, these pieces are fairly unique in that they're clearly not designed to be seen from the outside. They can be, but that's not the primary purpose. The idea here is, as the name suggests, to create a dungeon concealed within the bowels of your base, protected from the outside worlds by other walls, foundations, etc. Stylistically speaking, the Lost Dungeon set is pretty impressive. Each piece really captures the dungeon feel, composed of slightly mossy dark bricks that evoke the proper atmosphere of somewhere deep beneath the earth. Given the nature of these being foundation pieces, things can feel a little flat, but that is alleviated well by the texture of the walls and the design of the ceiling frames, windows and door frames. Those ceiling frames in particular stand out, they're very much oubliette style frames that add a lot of shape to an otherwise standardised set. In my opinion, there's nothing in the base game that quite captures the dungeon atmosphere like this set does. The pieces interact with lighting really nicely and really hit the mark in terms of how they feel. That being said, there are a few things missing from this set that I think would have really elevated it. Specifically, I would have liked to have seen alcove corners, like what was included in the Stormglass Cathedral set, alongside wedge pieces and, more, most importantly, a staircase. There are stairs that will work with this set, namely black ice and arena stairs to a degree, however some proper rough hewn dungeon stairs would have been the perfect addition. On the technical side of things, ceiling tiles can't be supported by regular pillars, though you can use regular pillars decoratively. If you need to support them, you would have to build a mega pillar of sorts using the dungeon wall pieces. That isn't the end of the world, but it can be a bit troublesome, restricting your options somewhat. I managed to get around that fairly easily, but I can see it tripping some people up. I think the best way to work with this is to keep things relatively tight and small, and not to attempt to build a single room too large unless you are prepared to build some of those mega pillars. So that leaves us at the question, is this set worth your money? Well when I saw that we were going to get this set in chapter 1 I was pretty excited for it. Dungeons are not the easiest thing to do, and a set tailored for that is perfect, especially considering the addition of the new treasure hordes we'll want to keep buried safely in our base. Now that I have my hands on it, whilst I do wish there were the aforementioned stairs, alcoves and wedges, I'm not overall disappointed. This set is somewhat inflexible, due to the lack of wedge pieces specifically, but there are ways to get around that. The set isn't that visually appealing on the exterior, but it's really not meant to be. It's very much an interior set, designed to be shrouded behind other walls, and that is pretty evident in the design. Again, I would have loved to have seen wedges, alcoves, staircases, and if I'm being picky, I also would have loved some vaulted ceilings, but Realistically speaking, it's not the end of the world. As for the price point of $7, honestly, not as bad as I was expecting. 
$7 for 7 pieces is a little steep maybe, though if you'd shown me the contents and asked me to guess the price, I probably would have said around 10 so it is below where I would estimate this pack would usually fall. Furthermore, whilst again a dollar per piece is a little expensive, there's nothing else that quite hits this atmosphere and design in the base game. Overall, do I recommend that you actually get the Lost Dungeon set? Of course, the answer will always depend on if you see yourself using it, and most importantly, if you actually like the pieces. If you answered yes to both, then I think I would recommend the Lost Dungeon set. If this set included wedges, stairs and alcoves for the same price, it would be a glowing recommendation, but seeing as it doesn't, it gets a conditional yes. If you know you can work with those restrictions, and you really like the items included here, this set will serve you well. If you'd prefer the flexibility of building your dungeons with, say, reinforced stone or arena, then this might not be right for you. Overall though, I think this is a pretty good set, and whilst it is a bit restrictive, the devs have crafted something unique here that I think avid builders will have a lot of fun with. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I think this is only the second recommendation I've given on the bazaar, and as for future reviews, I am looking forward to those log walls we saw in the trailer. If you'd also like me to review some of the other bundles like Stygian Command or Veneer Shaman, let me know. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.